1972. If you noticed, I had a mustache, and back in those days, that was a pretty radical position that I took to swim with a mustache and long hair when everybody else was shaving their legs and shaving their head and all that. And I decided to uh, grow this mustache, as a matter of fact, in 1972, right after my collegiate uh, swimming career at Indiana University. And uh, <laughs> my coach, Doc Councilman, wanted us to look like the All-American Collegian. And he said, no facial hair. But if you go back to 1972, we had Kent State and we had uh, Vietnam War, and we had the Beatles and the Rolling Stones, and everybody had long hair and mustaches and goatees. And I said, you know, I think I'd be kind of cool if I could grow one. So I had attempted to grow this thing, and it took about three months to finally fill in. And I had all intentions of shaving this thing off at the Olympic trials, but uh, I kept it, and all the press and everybody was talking about this, this mustache. So I figured, you know, if they're talking about the mustache, then they're not concentrating about whether or not they can beat me in swimming. So I said, maybe I'll just keep this until I go to the Olympics. But I really intended to shave this thing off. So at the Olympic Games in Munich, uh, there are so many different teams. And even if it was in swimming or track and field, that there's impossible to get all of the countries to have a, a fair shake at being able to use the venue. So everybody in swimming got to use the venue three times before the opening ceremonies and the competition would begin. They had a lot of other great venues of uh, training uh, around Munich, but uh, in this particular situation, we had already used up our three times, and they were usually in the middle mornings. And I asked the swim coach uh, if I could go over there the day before swimming competition started, and if I could swim at around 5 or 6 o'clock in the evening, because I wanted to see what the ambient light was like coming through all the windows, even though it was indoors. And just sort of a psychological thing, I wanted to swim at that time in that facility, just to just spend five, 10 minutes there. And he said, well, the Russians are there. I said, no problem. I said, I know a couple of the Russian coaches. They speak English. And maybe if they just give me five minutes, I can go over there and I can swim. They said, be my guest. So I walked over. It took about 10 minutes to take this small walk from the Olympic Village over to the swimming venue. And I asked this one particular coach if I could get in. And he said, sure, but you'll have to wait about 10 minutes because we're doing some exercises in that particular lane, lane number one. But uh, no problem. So I waited the 10 minutes. And then he said, go ahead and get in. They had cleared that lane. Well, I kept swimming back and forth. And at the end of each of the uh, lanes, uh, they had underwater windows for the television cameras. And I noticed that every time I got close to the edge of the pool that these flash bulbs were going off. And then I swam a little backstroke and realized that half their coaching staff had disappeared. And I'm sure they're down there taking pictures of me swimming. So I started to use this really strange stroke, you know, just. <laughs> yeah, why not? So I finished swimming for about 15 minutes. I got up at the edge of the pool and unabashed, a couple of these coaches reappeared with cameras dangling from their neck. And this coach asked me, he said, you know, we couldn't help but notice, because a lot of my colleagues have never seen you swim in person. We've only seen you swim on TV. You have such an unconventional stroke. You always use that, I go. You bet. So he translates in Russian. So he fielded one of the questions from one of the coaches by saying, well, how about your mustache? I mean, we've never in our life seen anybody in the history of the sport of swimming swim with a mustache. What are you going to do with that? Well, keep in mind, I was actually going to shave it that night. So what I said to him was this. I said, no, I said, uh, it really helps me. He says, how? I said, well, you see, it allows the water to deflect away from my mouth. I can get more streamlined in my behind up faster so that I can actually plane across the water and I can swim much faster. So he turns and translates this as fast as he can in Russian. They're all writing it down. The next year, every Russian male swimmer had a mustache. <laughs> 